Hey, what's up, guys? Yes, it's Mr. Free Coiner, and I am back again. Guys, hope you are doing well and uh, taking care of yourselves. Now, as usual, I need to say that I am not a financial advisor. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please only take it as that. Just taking a look at the price here, um, down. <laughs> Pretty much, that's that's where we are. The whole market, for the most part, but definitely XRP. Uh, it's pretty amazing, but then again, it's not. Uh, despite swell, despite all the news, everything happening, um, it just is not going up. That should kind of be, uh, you know, an indication that something else is going on here, guys. Um, now, believe what you want to believe. Um, you know, we are all entitled to our own opinion. So anyway, um, what I wanted to do is just go over a couple things here um, and then just share some thoughts. OK, so first, BRICS nation, uh, nations discuss creation of new crypto for a unified payment system. Now, obviously, uh, this is uh, these members are Brazil, Russia, India, India, China and South Africa. Um, so they are developing a single payment transaction system between uh, these member countries, which will essentially exclude the U.S. dollar. I personally don't blame them, but, um, you know, it, the, the, <laughs> the days of the dollar are just absolutely numbered. Um, it says here, an uh, efficiently operating BRICS payment system is capable of stimulating settlements in national currencies and ensuring the stability of settlements and investments between, other, between our countries, which form more than 20% of the global influx of foreign direct, uh, yeah, foreign direct investment. So, yeah, there's, hey, nobody's waiting for the U.S., you know, I think at one point maybe there was uh, some uh, thought on that, but I think these, you know, other countries are just moving on, which the U.S. is at some point going to get the lead out. But hey, but we'll see how that <laughs> works out. Um, I think it's happening in the background. It, it, they, they're just not showing anything. I'm, I'm just being honest with you guys. Uh, the people that control all of this, they believe me, all of this is just what we see what's happening in the background is not this okay all the countries work together there is there is no such thing as a uh you know any differentiation or any bad feelings or whatever all that bs that that's talked about believe me it doesn't actually exist uh, about the only country that uh there's really an issue with is it's iran all right so uh, believe what you want to believe but hey, this is just the truth. All right, so let's go ahead and move on here. Of, of course, this is a you know looking here on the surface, yes, this is a big deal. Um, the you know the narrative is being painted here, and I believe pretty soon the U.S. will unveil its digital dollar. I think all that's being um, you know worked on in the back end. Now, guys, as far as the uh, you know this markets crash and the stocks and all this uh, all this is all this is all uh set up it, it's yeah i'm not even going to go into it but believe me uh it's not exactly the way things are being portrayed so again like i said believe what you want to believe once you do your research um you will come to find out what's ha what's actually happening now uh, a lot of times I talk about things like this and I do not show um, what I find. And there's a reason for that. Um, you know, I'm not a Sam. I'm not, you know, any of these other guys. Uh, if you you can just, hey, if you can take it or leave it. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. Uh, I don't need to um, prove anything. Um, it is, you know, like I said, it is what it is. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Uh, Oh, yeah. One thing I was going to talk about here, VET, all right, V-Chain or whatever, it's been on quite a tear. It's, uh, you know, kind of been showing some action here. Definitely uh, something to watch 
outside of XRP. Uh, you know, I mean, watching XRP die for the most part. But uh, all in all, it's moving. It's uh, you know, I, I wish I was still in it. Um, but I, you know, I got what I needed when I, you know, when I was able to. And hey, here we are. But um, anyway, there is some movement happening in the market. Suffice it to say. All right. Coinbase card adds XRP and launches in 10 more European countries. Now, I think initially it says, yeah, it says uh, here Coinbase's Visa debit card has expanded support for five more cryptocurrencies in 10 new jurisdictions. The firm announced in two separate tweets on November 14th, launched in April 2019, Coinbase card now supports a total of nine cryptocurrencies in 29 European uh, countries in Europe. Sorry. The Coinbase cards new supported cryptos include, and it goes through that. I'm not going to go through all that. But all in all, um, yeah, this is in Europe. Definitely not in the U.S. I don't see that anywhere. I don't believe the uh, U.S. has been um, mentioned in any of this stuff yet. So will we see it? Hey, who knows? I guess, I guess they're waiting on these regulations, uh, but we'll see. Okay, um, yeah, but uh, all in all, uh, this right here should should have caused some type of movement, but yet we still go down. All right, Ripple versus PayPal, right? Supporters spark debate on Twitter. Now, Tone Bays has said what he has to say here. He says, wake me up when XRP is faster than PayPal. Wow. Until then, it's not only slower, but an extra advantage of exchange plus, exchange risk plus price volatility risk. But the moment you can be faster than PayPal, you only be uh, whatever. So, OK, yeah, Tone Vase, I think he's smoking or taking something. If he doesn't realize that it actually takes about three days before PayPal will deposit money into your account or if you're sending money. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which PayPal he's talking about, but again, he, I'm sure he has quite a lot of money and he's probably spends a large portion of that on drugs. I, I mean, that's what I would assume uh, to make this type of statement. Okay. Um, let's see here. It says, uh, if we consider the facts, XRP transactions take several seconds while uh, from wallet to wallet and several minutes between, uh, crypto exchanges. Is that right? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't actually I don't actually think so. But anyway, he says, uh, as for PayPal, it can sell transactions between its accounts within seconds. But any transfers that involve banks might take several days, depending on the bank. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it, it's I mean, yeah, of course, if you're sending it within PayPal, yes, it's faster. But PayPal is not. I mean, come on, Tone. Come on, man. You're, you're you and pomp. I mean, I mean, seriously, <laughs> yeah, I think you guys need to just go off somewhere and, um, you know, go hang out in Vegas or something. Um, anyway. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Something else. Uh, another project that popped up called peg. Apparently it has gone up 300%. Um, yeah, who knows? I, I've never heard of it before. Uh, could be a pump and dump. I, I don't know. I'm sure somebody's in it, made a lot of money, and I'm sure there's going to be some folks uh, that got in it and they are going to actually lose money. So we'll see. We'll see uh, if anybody comes up, comes through complaining about it. Yeah, here's Pegnet. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I guess keep an eye on it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so guys, understand the. Uh, uh, the best thing to do here as it relates to our our baby XRP, we're going to have to wait. They're going to they're going to put us through a lot of pain. If you have the if you have the guts, if you have the internal fortitude to hang on, I do believe we will be rewarded, rewarded. Now, it could be some time. I personally thought at uh you know at this time we would have seen something but no actually 2019 you know we talk about 2018 being bad 2019 has been the worst 
Okay, if this isn't a bear market, I don't know what is. Um, yeah, just because there's been a lot more good news, I guess we don't really we're not looking at it like that. But this has been an atrocious bear market, and it has definitely succeeded in discouraging a lot of people, and they have subsequently left XRP, which you know, again, it is what it is. People have to do what they feel is best for themselves and, you know, make decisions or make moves on that. Now, me personally, what I have resolved myself to do um, is just, you know, set it aside, understand that it is an investment. And someday I do believe it is going to pay off. Um I don't, you know, if you are in that position and you don't absolutely need the need the funds that you are you have invested in XRP, I would absolutely suggest you do that. Um, I wouldn't put my I wouldn't pin my hopes on Christmas. I wouldn't pin my hopes on Q1. Uh, anything, okay? Uh, the best thing to do, I think, and this is again just my opinion. Do not set any dates on when XRP is going to do anything. When you do that, you're setting yourself up to be disappointed. Okay. Um, we just don't know. There is, as I've said time and time again, there's a lot of manipulation going on. Um, also, the, uh, you know, it, it, well, I'll say this, whether it's malicious or not, we don't know. It could be uh, they could be keeping the price down until certain things are built, until certain things come into fruition. We just don't know. Uh, but all in all, it doesn't matter if it is being manipulated or not. The price is not going anywhere. Nobody knows. Uh, you know, nobody knows what it's going to do. We're. Uh, I see. I mean, I'm constantly seeing. People, yeah, this is what's set up, and this is what. And look, you don't know. Nobody knows. Stop giving everybody this hopium uh, injection, you know. And 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 guys, I mean, honestly, give yourselves a break on this. This is this is highly stressful, and uh, it could, you know, it, I mean, it drive you crazy. Just do your thing, live your life, let XRP be what it's going to be. Um, that's going to help you last you know, last beyond whatever is going on, whatever is happening and keeping the price down. I mean, um, I've heard people say, uh, you know, just a lot of things, a lot of things. Um, the, the, you know, the, all in all, um, I've, I've mentioned before, I think 2017 caught the powers that be off guard and they have definitely gotten their fingers and hands, little grubby hands in here and stifled all the uh, the gains. Uh, this is, you know, the crypto market is something that can make a lot of people rich. However, a lot of folks that are in it even right now are not going to be able to take advantage of it because of the disappointment that we are going to continue to see. Again, we don't know when the prices are going to increase. Set your expectation on that. Sit back and just let it be. It's, you know, it'll happen when it's time. You'll know when it happens. Um, I mean, whether you're keeping up with the market continuously, again, my suggestion, my opinion on this is to not set any time limits. Not, you know, really, you can't set a goal in this. Now, if you have a have the mindset that you need to make sure that you get out at a certain time. You know, you set yourself up for or set a specific time limit that you um, are going to give it. OK, hey, I understand that if you if it's a must. But again, this is an investment. You have to look at it like a 401k. You're not you know, you're not putting any limits on that other than, um, you know, possibly when you're 65. Right. So I would suggest look at it like that. Uh, that's that's the way I'm basically doing and, uh, you know, anybody thinking that I'm, you know, negative or I'm not as enthusiastic. Uh, well, of course I am. I mean, I'm I'm not letting my XRP go or any of my other investments. This is, you know, again, this is an investment. So 
Uh, am I uh, thinking it's going to moon every other week or month or whatever? No, not at all. Uh, there's, you know, it's just, it has come a time to get, um, you know, realistic on what's happening. Okay. I think the possibility is always there. It's just that there are certain entities who are involved in this now and they are not going to let this take off until something happens. Whatever, what that something is, I couldn't tell you, but, um, that's the way I see it. Um, yes. I mean, it, could I go over all the news and all the things that are happening? Absolutely. There, there are things being built on a constant basis. Did they talk about a lot of great things and swell? Absolutely. Are they, you know, you can look through Twitter. There's, uh, there's, um, uh, article after article saying the same things. Even this guy, you know, Tony Valentino, uh, says, I've said it before and I'll say it again. What choices do they have? Keep printing into hyperinflation. Uh, we'll kill a dollar, destroy everything. Yes. And this is definitely a, uh, uh, a reason to push XRP even, even harder. Okay. It says here, or create massive wealth out of thin air, billions of XRP distributed via OTC to who? Yeah. And we've seen that. Uh, again, you can look tweet after tweet. Yeah, a lot of people here have some excellent, excellent um, information and they are uh, um, putting it out there. Right. But when it comes down to it, there are people controlling this and they are only going to let it happen when they are ready to let it happen, guys. That's wow. That's essentially it. So just be ready for it. Um, I don't, I, you know, I, I really don't know uh, what else to say about that. This is okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, I was just trying to find another article that, yeah, here uh, speaking about on demand, uh, um, uh, on demand liquidity. Um, what else? I mean, again, I, I could go on, on and on. There's well, actually, I could go on and on, but there aren't that many XRP articles anymore. What is going on? You guys are letting me down. Uh, all right. Anyway, <clears throat> another V chain. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, just a word of encouragement uh, and and just uh, wisdom as I see it. Don't set any expectations. Don't set any, uh, you know, time limits. Let it be. Let it be an investment. Think of it like, you know, essentially like stocks. We are not in the position to make huge gains off of small movements. We're, you know, the majority of us aren't. So let's just strengthen our resolve. Stay in this. Stay firmly rooted. And let's wait them out. If you're patient and you understand where you're trying to get and you're, res you're resolute in that mentality, guys, I'm going to tell you, you will wait them out and we will see the exact rainbows, <laughs> I guess I could say, that we're looking for. So again, just a word of encouragement to you guys. I'm standing right there along with, alongside all of you. And I hope the same. I hope you are with me. I'm standing right there alongside of all of you. And I hope that we are all standing together strong. So that's it, guys. Again, thank you for joining me. Thank you for the likes, the, the views, uh, all of you who have subscribed. But guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and the post notification button so you know when I post it again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.